You're either a doer of the word and a receiver of the goodness thereof, or you're a knower of the word and you don't receive anything from it except the puffed up head that comes with knowledge. And I'll let you decide which church most of the people you know are in. The real one, where these things flow from the heart and they're true, or the false one where it's all in the head and we do the things because we want to be seen. I had people come and witness at my house yesterday. And they concern me, not them, but all the ones that do in a lot of ways. And the reason I say that is because one of the theologies that they believe is that if you are a witness, to be saved, you must witness. What does that do? That means when you come to my house, there is a danger. I'm not saying that they were doing it. There is a danger that you're here to witness to me to make sure you're saved. and not because of the love of Christ that compels you to save others. One is false and it's deceiving faith. The other is true and born of a change that's been made in me. And nobody, for the most part, in Christianity is making these distinctions. We're just looking at things. You can't discern God from the outside. For Satan himself comes as what? An angel of light. He puts himself as a light bringer, a truth teller, right? As a messenger of truth, higher knowledge, ability, whatever. Amen. But we know that God looks at motives, not the outward appearance, right? So if I go and witness, he's looking at my motive for witnessing. And if I'm literally in a situation where I believe that just the fact of me going and doing it is going to save me. And I don't understand. It has to be coming from somewhere. I don't even know what salvation is. And I may believe there's a point at which I got saved because I did an outward action. And there's really nothing compelling me to be a different person. Right? And it's always interesting to me because somebody asks, well, they ask all the time, well, how do I know I'm saved? Well, that's simple. Well, if you're saved, you'll, 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 you know, you'll put your sin away and you'll pff, get grief. If you're saved, the Bible says the Spirit will testify in you that you have a Father. That's what Jesus said. Abba. That's what the Word says. Father. Father. I've been born from heaven. I have a Father. If you don't have that spirit from the inside, all these outward things coming from your mind because you read something that says, if I don't want to go to hell, I will do this. I may burn $200 of gas a day going and doing that. And it may be all external. And the Lord's on us to caution people because solely external does not inherit the kingdom of God. Flesh and bone cannot inherit the kingdom of God. You realize that, right? It says that in the Bible. For flesh and bone cannot inherit the kingdom of God. There's got to be something born of him on the inside, and it's got to compel these actions. Right? Hallelujah. 